Hi everybody, welcome back to Desert DIY. And if you are new here, my name is Cory. Today I have a really, really exciting video for you. I know it's been a while since I put up my last one, but there are reasons for that. And I have some really super big announcements to make at the end of this video, so please stay tuned till the end after my craft, of course, and find out why it is that I have not been uploading recently, because there's very, very good reasons. <laughs> but today's craft is going to be a wreath that I am going to fix up using things that I had left over in this horribly disorganized kind of borderline hoarder craft closet that I have which I'll show you later on in a decluttering video but today's craft is going to be super easy for you I think it's gonna kind of help inspire you all to get into that spring mood which spring's not coming for a while but I can't help but want it to already be spring as soon as Christmas is over I live in the desert southwest so we don't really have very long winters so it's not like I'm like being unrealistic and getting ready for spring but I just I feel like once the Christmas stuff is put away it's time to just like clean everything and declutter and you'll see at the end of this video with my big announcements why it is that I'm diving so hard into minimalism decluttering cleaning organizing for 2019 so I hope you enjoy here goes all you will need for this project is a grapevine wreath, which can be found at a Walmart, Target, Michaels, or Hobby Lobby store. And then these I got from Hobby Lobby. They were $5.99 each, but I got them on a half off day. These cotton balls I got um, from Hobby Lobby as well, and they were half off during the fall sale. And then I just have my hot glue gun and some glue. So the first thing that I'm going to do, and I've already done it here, is cut off all the leaves that I want to use from this like eucalyptus or I don't know what you would call this actually <laughs> it looks like eucalyptus in a way I don't know but I'm gonna cut off the leaves that I think are useful for my wreath these ones that are too close to the stem I don't think those are gonna be useful this I can probably just pull it off yep Time to take my leaves and stuff them into my wreath how I think they would look best. I'm going to stick them all in the same kind of direction. So they're going to go around that way instead of doing them back and forth. I think it would look better if they were all going in the same kind of direction. And then I'll go back and glue them in. But I don't want to glue them now just in case I put them in places that don't look so great. I'm pretty happy with how this looks right now, so I'm just going to go back and start putting a dab of glue on the ends of these and sticking them inside my wreath so that they will be a little more permanent. Covered it pretty good. Do my shake test, make sure nothing's falling off. Looks pretty good and solid. Now I'm going to take my cotton stem pieces. They're not actual stems, but I'm gonna glue them in the back here and then stick them in to fill in the rest of this wreath. Again, I'm going to set them first and make sure that I get the spacing right before I glue them in because it would be a shame to run out. <laughs> I love how this turned out. Let's do the shake test. Flip it upside down. Okay. Oh, 
All right, it is time for my big announcements. And announcement number one is we are expecting. <laughs> I am currently about 15 weeks pregnant. And this pregnancy has been different, of course, from my other pregnancies. And I've been feeling very ill. And in the beginning, there was a bit of a rough patch where we were kind of wondering, you know, if the baby was healthy, what was going on. And this is kind of a common theme <laughs> that I go through with my pregnancies where the beginning is usually pretty rough and then the end is much better. But right now I've just been so exhausted all day long and feeling like throwing up most of the day. <laughs> Sorry for the graphic language, but that has been one of the main reasons why I haven't been uploading videos. I also am trying to figure out ways that I can still do my crafts while being safe while being pregnant. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure that one out. But my announcement number two is that we went from a two-child household to a three and sort of a half-child household. We became foster parents. And this is extremely time-consuming, but well worth it, of course. But the time-consuming part is another reason why I haven't uploaded in a while. So <laughs> I hope you'll be understanding that my videos will be a little bit further apart now. They won't be once a week. It'll be more like once every two to three weeks, <laughs> but I promise my quality is getting better on my videos because I just got a brand new amazing camera from Santa. So <laughs> I hope that these few videos that will be coming up soon will be much better than my previous ones. As always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and so much for your support. I promise to have tons of great content coming up for you all and I will see you next time. Bye!